This lecture is about germ layer derivatives. In the image on the left, you can see three distinct layers labeled ectoderm in blue, mesoderm in pink, and endoderm in yellow. We will now consider the different organs and tissues that derive from these three layers. Starting with ectoderm, we can see that ectoderm can be divided into three portions, surface ectoderm, neuroectoderm, and the neural crest. With regards to surface ectoderm, the derivatives include epidermis, hair, nails, inner and external ear, tooth enamel, the lens of the eye, the adenohypophysis, otherwise known as the anterior pituitary, which comes from Rathke's pouch, and the parotid glands. Neuroectoderm goes on to produce the neural tube, which further goes on to produce the CNS, the retina and the optic nerve, the pineal gland, the neurohypothesis, otherwise known as the posterior pituitary, astrocytes, and oligodendrocytes. The derivatives of the neural crest include the chromaffin cells of the adrenal medulla, the ganglia, including sensory and autonomic, melanocytes, Schwann cells, meninges, including the pia and the arachnoid, pharyngeal arch cartilage, odontoblasts, parafollicular cells of the thyroid, also known as C-cells, the aortico-pulmonary septum, the endocardial cushions, and the iris pigment cells of the eye. Mesoderm derivatives include muscle, smooth cardiac and skeletal, connective tissue, cartilage, bone, serous membranes lining body cavities, blood, lymph, cardiovascular organs, the adrenal cortices, gonads including the ovaries and testes, genital ducts, internal reproductive organs, the spleen, the kidneys, the ureters, and the dura mater. Finally, the endoderm can be divided into epithelial portions and parenchymal portions. Under the epithelial portions of the endoderm, the derivatives include the GI tract, the tonsils, the thymus, the pharynx, the larynx, the trachea, bronchi, lungs, urinary bladder, urethra, tympanic cavity, and auditory tube. The parenchymal portions include the liver, the pancreas, the tonsils, the thyroid, the parathyroid, the glands of the GI tract, the submandibular and sublingual glands, and also note that the anal canal above the pectinate line is derived from endoderm. Remember that the portion of the anal canal below the pectinate line came from surface ectoderm. I hope this video helped you in your studies in medical embryology. Please visit PsychoMicro on these social media platforms and leave any comments or suggestions you have below if you feel so inclined. Thank you so much for watching and best of luck on your studies.